Hey guys, it is Friday, April 28th. Uh, it's about 5 in the evening. We're getting ready to get some dinner now. We're having Subway. And then me and my daughter and my sister are going to a local paint night here in town. We're going to paint something. I guess I tell you when you get there. I haven't gone to one before. I am not very artistically uh, inclined um, in the painting medium. So I asked, like, is it okay if you don't know what you're doing? She said it's fine. So uh, we'll see what I managed to come up with. Happy to report that all the snow is gone and um we're just having a nice evening so i thought we'd take you with us i don't know how much i'll vlog if at all inside the actual paint night but we'll show you before and we'll show you the after in the meantime before we go anna's here arts and crafting <laughs> of sorts their glue gun and uh what are those anna fidget spinners wait but what's the what oh, are you bearings, using? bearings. She's making her own, you know, how those spinners are super popular with the kids. She thought she would try her hand at making her own. And how's it going? Good. Good? Yeah. <laughs> and we are on our way now to paint night. Kelly's here. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> From the YouTube channel Frilly Fox. <laughs> so we will keep you posted on how well or badly it goes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Home from paint night now, got those paint splattered hands. I love it. And getting ready to settle in with a glass of Malbec. Love that too. I want to show you my nails here. On all of the fingers, I've got a Sinful Colors color that I can't quite remember the name of off the top of my head. And then on these two accents here, I've got um, on top of that one of those Magic L'Oreal top coats that came out a few years ago. I like this duo. I think it's super, super fun. The sun is finally out today. All the snow's gone. Sun is out and it is great. Picked up some of these kombucha teas. This one is brewed with lemongrass and this one with mint and chlorophyll. They're so good. They're carbonated so you get a bit of fizz to them, a bit of bubble. And here's my coffee plant I'm growing. Uh, word has it that in four to six years I shall have some coffee beans. Hey guys, it is Wednesday, May 3rd. Um, just back now from the gym. I went and and my husband there, as I do almost the uh, weekdays. And after that I went grocery shopping. I wish I had taken you in with me. It's one of the most beautiful grocery stores um, I've ever been in, the one we have here. It's so nice, maybe next time. Then tonight I'm going to coffee with my sister. Maybe I'll take you guys along for that. I hope your week's going well. I'm headed to pick up my sister now and it's just a really lovely evening. All the kids are outside playing in the parks in the ball, ball diamonds. Just a really nice evening. So I didn't really film much when I was out with my sister yesterday. We were having coffee and kind of got uh, just busy talking and didn't spend much time vlogging. But now I'm about to do the granola goat mask that I posted with the Vegan Cuts Beauty Unboxing. And a lot of people asked for a review. So let's try it out. So we're getting ready to mix the mask. I have my very handsome YouTube assistant here who's going to read us about the mask. And then he's going to mix it for us. You got it. All right. The spirulina face mask is a real treat for your skin. We source our spirulina from Hawaii, where it is pond grown using water from 2,000 feet below the surface of the Pacific Ocean. Mm. This seawater provides a rich supply of natural nutrients and sets it apart from any other spirulina available. Four purposeful ingredients, spirulina, organic quinoa, French green clay, 
and patchouli essential oil. And what, how does it say to prepare it? To use, place one to two teaspoons of dry mask into a clean bowl. Add an equal amount of the liquid. Of liquid. Add an equal amount of liquid, or adjust the amount to your preference and mix. Apply to, to clean skin. Leave for 10 to 20 minutes and rinse. So far, it's feeling nice and tingly and cooling, very relaxing. I'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes to update you on how it goes afterwards. Okay, so I just rinsed that mask off and my face feels amazing. It feels so clean and so soothed. I've got a bit of extra redness here, but that always happens whenever I take a mask off. But it just, it felt so good. I would highly recommend it. If you can get your hands on some, try it. So good. While I had it on, I did have a bit of tingling, but that's par for the course with clay masks in my experience. And it was pretty itchy while it was on, but again, it's just how it goes. But I'm so impressed. I can't wait to use it again soon. And yeah, two big thumbs up from me. All right, so I'm settled in for the evening. Got some YouTube on the TV, and I just painted my nails. I used this light pink from Trust from Beauty, and this glittery pink from Wet n Wild. And the finished product looks like the oh, <laughs> I can't see what I'm doing. Looks like this. And I'm just gonna end it here for tonight. Get ready to head to bed. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog, and I'll see you on Monday. Bye.